Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines. T-Bone here. Today we're going to be replacing this primer ball. You can see it's, it's all cracked up uh, on this concrete saw. So what we're going to do, T27, remove this screw. There's four screws here. We're also going to go ahead and remove the four in the back for the air cleaner. Once we get that done, I'll show you the little trick that you have to know with this throttle linkage. Y'all stand by there, we'll see if we can get this apart. Okay, and these saws take a lot of abuse. I'll tell you, and the air cleaner is the worst on these. They're in such bad, dirty condition. Pretty easy. Pop your cover off. Never ever worry about trying to even try to blow these filters out. Hope you guys can see me. Uh, don't even try to blow these out. We replace them. There's also another filter here and I replace them. I don't, I don't clean them. So we got those out. Let's remove the top. This one is where your spark plug is. We'll get that out of the way and then these four screws. A little stick magnet. Okay, and you'll notice your air cleaner screws Fine thread. These in the plastic, of course, thread. Just keep that in mind when you take these apart. Now, I'm gonna have to move the camera so I can get you in here and show you where this throttle linkage is. Okay, so looking down through the top, we have to get our throttle linkage off, which is right here. And what I'm gonna do is take me a pair of vice grips, little needle nose vice grips. I'm gonna clamp that and you pull up on it to get it off. And then if you look right there, if you see, see that little groove right there, that's where we'll snap this rod to hold it in place. And I'll show you why when we get this cover off. I'm gonna try and do this and hold the camera. My lovely wife says it's too doggone cold. I can't do that because I've got to get a screwdriver and hold that other piece down there. Let me pop this loose and I'll show you. Okay, well you can't see what I'm doing yet, but you will shortly. I'm just holding this black piece and give it a little jerk. I'm just going to let that fall right there. Now we'll see if we can slide this off. Our wires right here on the top just pull them out of the little groove and you can lay this to the side now let's take a little closer look at where to put that rod sorry about that I should have paused the camera all right what we're gonna do is snap this right there in that groove oh show what I'm doing right there okay That'll hold that in place. Now let's get over here and work on this primer ball. Okay, we'll just get a little screwdriver and it should pop right up out of there. See right there? Okay. And let's see if we can get us a little bit more slack out of these fuel lines here. They don't have, they don't give you much to play with. They don't look too bad there. We'll just pop this one off. Now you want to keep in mind which one goes to which side. Okay. So I'm going to lay them right there. The one to the back is going to the long one. The one to the front is going to the short one. That's the easy way to remember. Let's go get a new primer ball. Okay, new primer ball. There's your number one. Rotary number is a 14936. And there's your still number right there. And new primer ball all right so what did we say we said the long to the rear okay sure why not let's see if i can get this out of here 
they give you so much room to do this and I am sure my fingers and arms are in your way but you understand see if we can get this worked back in here be careful with your fuel lines you don't want to pinch a hole in them obviously that wouldn't be good now would it push these up look at there too easy there we go let's get a little screwdriver here a little assistance New primer ball. Let's see, does it work? And I'll see. I guess it's got gas in it. I don't know. Did y'all look and see if it had gas? I didn't. All right, it's, there we go. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can see it pumping gas. But it's pulling gas up in there. All right, now all we got to do is put it back together. Okay, just be sure your throttle linkage is snapped in this little clip like I showed you because it will twist and come out of there. These like to turn, and when it turns, it'll pop out of the carburetor. So then we'll just take this, and you're going to have to work your wires because they'll go in this groove right in the top there. And we'll get those wires later. First thing we want to do is get this cover back down. Oh, one more thing. Flip your switch right there about halfway because it'll want to hit the cover also trying to put it together. There she is, right down in place. Let's put some screws in. And we want these coarse ones. It'll go in up here. And don't over tighten these because you will strip that plastic out. All right, I'm gonna stop right there before I knock this thing loose. And all I'm gonna do is hook back in with my vice grips. I'm gonna pop it out of that little thing there. Snap, there it is. Now all we've got to do is work our wires in. We still got two more screws, y'all don't let me forget. I don't want to give the man a saw back and didn't put it back together like it's supposed to. That wouldn't be right now, would it? All right. So just two more screws. Pretty simple, folks. Now I do. I am gonna go ahead and put this guy a new spark plug in also. And he's getting air filter spark plugs. I'm actually he's getting a a new starter assembly too. His rope's too short and it's got that easy start. So. We're going to be swapping that out also. Well, I wasn't going to make y'all watch me do a spark plug, but I figured I'd show you this. It happens sometimes. I twisted it, pulled it off, and it come right off the coil wire. So now I'm about to fix that too. Isn't that fun? All right. I guess I'll make y'all watch me put a spark plug in. I guess you can fast forward. I'll show you how to put that boot back on in just a second. It's basically got a little little threaded deal up in there and it'll just uh you just screw it back onto the wire so i'll show you that in a second plug doesn't look that bad let's see what we got bpmr 7a i probably got a hundred of them in stock hold on i'll go get one nope i've only got about 30 in stock now i like to gap these about 25 that suits me just fine so let's put a new plug in for the guy and y'all stand by and i'm gonna show you how to put this wire on all right, I didn't think y'all wanted to watch me put a spark plug in, so I didn't make you do it. Again, y'all can always fast forward. Stick this down. Want to get on the center of that wire. Hold that wire. Push it down and screw it. It's like right hand threads. Until you feel it get good and tight. There we go. How about that? That was difficult, wasn't it? All right, look at there. Back in business. I want to make sure these wires are down in here too, in this groove. 
If not, you will pinch them when you put this spark plug black plastic cover back on. And we don't want to pinch that because that's your kill wire. And then this little guy here, we'll stick it up here, maybe. There we go. wasn't that easy. Well, y'all want to watch me put a starter cover on this thing? Why not? Hold on. Yep, Rotary sells that also. Part number is a 13591. 13 millimeter. Come back here, Sal. Should have done this with it standing up, but I didn't, obviously, did I? Because this whole belt assembly, which is under tension all the time with this tension nut. Can y'all see that? I guess you could. And let's see. He said the rope is too short. You can't probably can't see that. That's pretty short. But we need to pop this little cover off. Let's see if we can get that off of there. Doggone it, I forgot to start the camera. That's smart. That's real professional, isn't it? Just a little screwdriver. Let's see if I can break this. I hope not. Take your time. It's got some little tabs that stick down in the cover. Ah, there we go. Little tabs there. Sometimes they'll break off. Don't worry about it. We're going to clean this up, and then what we'll do is we'll put a little RTV, pop it down in a new one. We should be good to go. Let me clean this up, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, it's a little cleaner. Just want enough so this RTV will stick on there. And I'm just going to put a few little dots of it on here. Not much. Doesn't need a whole lot. It's not the end of the world if it falls off. Just aesthetics, right? So, now we can get it popped back in there. Look at there. Like brand new. Just like new money. There we go. People say, no, don't start your nuts like that. Why not? Oh yeah, you're gonna strip it out. No, I'm not doing anything. Okay, misting rain. Let's see if it actually starts. Hold the trigger, pull it to start, put the choke on. Popped off. Y'all click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Y'all have a great day and Merry Christmas to everyone.